Hi, it's Kathy Chan with Tri-Cities Community TV, and before we get started, I'd like to thank the Coquitlam Library for donating their space, as well as the uh, Coquitlam First Nations uh, and the land that we're on today. With me today, uh, we have uh, Lynn Heinrich is with us, and she is with More Sports BC, a community developer in the Tri-Cities chapter. With her is my guest, Michelle Tremblay with Empower Lives. Ladies, thank you so much for being here today. Look, you're glowing, glowing. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I, I, I don't know a lot about More Sports BC, mm -hmm. um, but I'd love to hear from you and what you guys are doing in the community primarily in the Tri-Cities. Um, mm -hmm. So go ahead, Lynn, tell us. So our chapter in the Tri-Cities, we work with kids from the age of five um, until they graduate. So five to 12, 14 are usually doing like after school programs, camps, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. And then um, once the kids age out of that, we have a space for them to volunteer and use the skills that they are getting um, in our programs. We give them coaching um, certificates uh, so they get more leadership experience. Mm -hmm. And then they can uh, team up with us for camps and get some more job skills mm -hmm. and work with kids younger than them. And one thing that I love, Lynn, is uh, your vision. You know, you, you have an active, inclusive, enriched community mm -hmm. for children and youth, regardless of their ability to pay or yes. play. Yeah. Yeah, I loved that. I mean, the ending of that, it's very long vision, but the ending of that, the play and the and the pay part, you know, because we know that not everybody can afford programs. And we're going to get into, you know, how you're affiliated with this, Michelle, as well, and what you're doing with More Sports BC mm, and Lynn yes. and the organization. So, so tell me what that looks like um, on, on your side. So it, it looks different um, each year because some families have been able to pay. Mm -hmm. And um, we noticed after, of course, COVID, as it everybody did, there's lots of um, times that families aren't able to pay or they're only able to pay partial or they've got several kids now that are interested in, in being part of the after school programs. Um, so with More Sports being a nonprofit, we're able to get grants to help cover that. Um, we work with like Kids Sport, Jump Start, um, some of the names that, that people do know, as well as things like Spirit Grant for Coquitlam or Poco right. Foundation. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. And how do the two of you get together and what is Michelle doing uh, <laughs> with Lynn and all of that, you know, tell us. Well, it was, I think, uh, I started doing something through the pandemic, if I remember, mm -hmm. and I was looking for um, opportunities to do it outside of the school because we weren't allowed in the school at the time. Right. And so I kind of came up with a smorgasbord of activities and I was approached by Lynn to come into more sports to do something as a partner where we could actually do this in the schools when we could get in and start to incorporate some of the youth to be volunteers mm -hmm. and dedicate some of their time that they have that their maybe parents are upset they're on their phones or they're doing video games and all those things that they're doing something productive and it was such an incredible experience that we started I think it was Coquitlam River mm -hmm. where we first started and then it just continued to morph into okay where else can we go how can we make this bigger how can we get other people to work with us mm -hmm. and I think that's the biggest part it's hard to stand on your alone on your own right mm -hmm. we need to be working together we have the same vision and passion right, about right. what we're doing. So you found her, you said this is a good power partner for us. It's so good. So with, mm. with both of us doing after school programs, it also makes sense. Um, it also, if we have a volunteer that might be more martial arts, yoga driven, um, Michelle's right there to, to support them mm -hmm. if they wanna come after school and volunteer with her. Um, we have, um, since any time we've done camps, we get a lot of feedback from the youth and yes. the youth are always kind of directing like, you know, I need more support here. I don't need support there. Um, we had a, a captain of volunteers this year with summer camps because yes. we have people that have come. They volunteered 100 hours and they're like, you know, I think I can make it easier for the shy ones to see their strengths. Right. And, you know, with Michelle 
being um, as passionate as she is, she makes it so easy for the teens to be able to, you know, when their critical thinking isn't quite coming to them, <laughs> that they can go to Michelle and feel like they're getting backed up to work with the kids' behaviors. So Michelle, you're doing the martial arts and the yoga with the kids? Yeah, so I was, I'm was. i still doing those programs, but I'm also doing more um, programs now with girls in middle school. Right, right. And I have a beauty inside and out program. And that became a real amazing thing with this hook of, of beauty and hair and makeup and things that kids kind of want to do. We saw the potential there for taking these young girls into leadership, even at 12. Mm -hmm. And the connection was like, oh, I've got to do something and I want to be better at something and I want to feel more confident and I want to do something that's going to make me feel like I'm important, I belong. So Lynn and I started to work together and think, hey, come and speak and see if the girls would be interested in coming in to do this and go, let's go to Terry Fox because I'm there too as well. And what has happened is some of these girls have just blossomed mm -hmm. and they're coming back and they're now becoming leaders and are getting paid to do this. And they're like, oh, everybody wants money. It's great for them, mm -hmm. That's you so know? So, That's so good. I'm so grateful because I just feel like that age group get, gets lost in what, what activities can they do that's going to continue to keep them connected and to role models and people that truly care about them. That sense of belonging yeah. um, doesn't always come in high school. Sometimes you need to find it out in your community. Right. And I think youth really need to know that outside their parents or caregivers and outside their school, there's adults that you know want to support them and, and, and find out more. Sometimes it doesn't even happen at home. Yeah. the sense of belonging you know yeah. they have to find it elsewhere and yeah and 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 so where are you doing all of these um like camps and activities like you talked about terry fox you're there where where's this all happening in the tri-cities middle schools um through our partnership with sd 43 um and working with the community coordinators and um some of the the community schools like Minicata, Pitt yeah. River, right, um, Central, yeah, like some of the younger areas too, with we're working. But what I've seen is, is if I give an example of James, mm. he was someone who took my program in the after school piece at a, at Harborview, and his mom continued to help him continue to grow, and he decided he wanted to do something with some kind of a youth organization. I believe it was kids sport at the time. Mm -hmm. And now he showed up at my camp this year and I was looking at him going, oh my goodness, I know you. And then it just clicked. And he was our, one of our youth leaders. Mm -hmm. And he's continuing to grow now again too. And he was one of those shy kids and it's yeah. just amazing to see them continue. I just get fired up like Lynn does. Mm -hmm. We're always talking, hey, did you hear what he's doing now or what yes. they're doing now? And it's just so exciting. It is, I know. They're not our children, but it's I, like they are. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh, wow, they've lost them so well. I know, I, yeah. you guys know I work in education and I feel yes. that too when they graduate out of our program and then we're getting the younger kids to come in and volunteer. And then once they've done that, they get to be you know, junior instructors mm -hmm. and then they become instructors. It's, and so it just, because debate is not very well known out there so like we do need to hire from within yes and, yes. and, and it's exciting parents get so lit up they're like oh my child can volunteer here that's yes. so nice. volunteer hours are important yeah yes. right they know all this but for education because they get to experience like what they're good at what they're not good at in a really safe environment yeah. where um they're not committed to like i need to have this job for the next two years mm -hmm. it's you know what i want to be part of this project i want to be part of um this event and Honestly, like um, seeing some of the youth, like you said, maybe don't get support at home, mm -hmm. um, making new friends and getting support at our camps and realizing that they have a lot to um, give to the younger kids mm -hmm. and role model. And the youth really understand the younger kids better than adults do anyways. Right, they do, yeah. they can, it's more relatable. And I think also it's that giving them responsibility yes. and they're getting a little bit, they're getting a little of that rope and they feel just so good about, mm -hmm. oh wow, I'm a youth leader or I'm mentoring this person. And you know, again, it's the trickle effect, right? Yes. It's that domino rippling, you know, and, and, and what's happening for the, the betterment of all things. Um, how many kids um, have you had in the program over the years? Uh, 500 yeah. youth yeah, 500. and then probably like 2000 kids under 12. 
which really is a drop in the bucket when you think there's 33,000 kids just in our school district. Yeah. Um, but like you said, not everything is like, not everybody loves martial arts or yoga. Right. Not everybody loves sport. Um, more sports does dance. They do partnerships with like Coquilla Metro Ford, Port Moody Soccer, Ducks Volleyball. Yeah. Um, so that the youth they have in theirs um, can now come and, and coach after school. Yeah. And um, honestly, with Michelle doing her, um, her stuff at Minicata, some of those girls would never even know about more sports and their ability to come and get some coaching and leadership certi certificates. And, um, and they feel like because Michelle's the one sharing that, Michelle sees that leadership in them and so therefore it's an easier step for them to take. Right. So yeah. you're, you're basically talking about more sports to them that they don't they don't really know anything about it then you're sort of identifying like hey yeah so and so do you hear did you hear about this you guys should try that yes and being that you're like their leader mentor and all that they're gonna listen to you yeah and when they're at camp too Michelle's already she knows their background she knows um, some of the things they've confided in her so she's able to be there if they're if they're feeling anxious or mm -hmm. yeah. if they're not sure um, yeah. what to do in a situation while the kids having a meltdown or you know a, a child's too nervous to try a new activity because They've never touched a badminton racket before. Right. You know, the words volleyball are like, what is that? Mm -hmm. You know, we and you know, I remember what it was like for me when I had a mentor and someone that I looked up to and who believed in mm -hmm. me and how it changed my life. And it it's what I see in these girls. And there's a safe place for them to make mistakes yes. and yes. the boys too, yeah. so that they can continue to keep going and they're not just gonna be you know, feeling like they're walking on eggshells. Like that's the place for all of it because we also, <laughs> what happened today, yes. you know, and there's things that we're growing to as leaders. It's such a beautiful, organic place. Mm -hmm. I feel like that, you get your so. love cup filled every day with what you're yes. doing. Yeah, it's, right? it's, it's so powerful. Amazing. Now, are you doing things on your own as well? Yes. Oh, yes. Independently, yes. right? Yes. yes. And uh, creating these workshops and, and and, and the martial arts and the yoga with just primarily youth though? I'm doing, mo yeah, I do with youth and with mostly too with the kids. So I've been offered opportunities to do keynotes now. So I'm doing like bigger grades, like K's and ones together and twos and threes where yeah. I come in and I just do a big, you know, um, session around, it could be around confidence, it could be around empathy, but it's incorporating some of those parts, which yeah. the kids love. That's great. And it's still me, that touch point. So when I get, a kid that's like grade one, they're now in grade five going into middle school and here I am again. You yeah. know, it's just so wonderful nice. because you're see, they see that and kids need that. Yeah. You know, they, we don't realize how important that is. Um, and then the other parts of that is just being able to teach my after school program pieces too. Um, and then also creativity in what we're doing. I've been working with parents now Mm -hmm. doing some yoga sessions like mm -hmm. at the beginning of school before they come to school because right. I hear parents need this too. We yeah, all need this too, stress and whatever else. I know, mental health, right? Right. Yes. What are we doing to, to you know, um, keep our brains healthy and our own sanity and our stress levels and whatever else is on the rise. We can only do what we can do, but if we don't have the knowledge or the know. Like if, if they don't talk to you, they don't know about you. If they don't see you, they mm -hmm. might not know, really, I could do yoga? I thought that's yeah. for adults. Or I would like to do this martial arts stuff. Sure, you know, so it's, it's all about opening doors for these mm -hmm. young, you know, impressionable and children. Yes. Sometimes we're really lucky, like um, teaming up with Live 5210, um, yes. which was like with BC Children's. Um, they they allowed us to have takeaway bags for families, mm -hmm. so um, a lot of the people from the community dropped in their information so that parents could know there are parenting courses. There's lots of activities at the library for after school. Mm -hmm. They don't always have to have their kids stay after school um, to get an activity that might be of interest to them, um, and then you know. Besides libraries, there was mental health pieces like Family Smart. Um, so I think that, you know, because we have this partnership and we're out in the community, we're always finding ways um, 
where we're doing similar work to other people and where we can yeah. band together. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to not just, you know, we tried somewhere new last this last year in a different area, which is kind of Coquitlam Millardville. Mm -hmm. And it was a different area of kids to bring into that too. And it was also another way too to reach the community. So it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of being able to focus on where are we seeing some of the issues that we're wanting to pull in, mm -hmm. kids that we can support. Mm -hmm. And the, the camps run just, I mean, when we first started, it was, it felt like it was a bit of mayhem at first. Well, Because yeah. we're just trying to figure out how to do this to 60 and 50 kids. But as we've gotten, we're becoming our little pros in how we're doing it. We have more people involved now. And then other people can step into other positions right, too, like right. a, more of a youth leader. Yeah, to and the getting the, the youth leaders like more that. certified, um, a little more empowered ahead of time, right. definitely yeah. gives them the confidence to, to be a role model, to take things on to uh, sort things out before they need to come to a supervisor and, and get support. And sometimes it's just after the fact saying, I hope I dealt with this, right? Yeah. And being able to like say, yeah, you did. Yeah. You used your knowledge, yeah. you, you yeah. did exactly what you were trained to do. Yes. So how can people find out more about More Sports BC and primarily Tri-City sort of area? Um, they yeah. can go on moresports.org. Okay. Um, there's lots of information there. Uh, we do our after-school programs with a registration system yes. called uh, Do What You Love, um, and so almost... Oh, you use Do What You Love? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So um, that makes it easy for parents who have kids that might be in middle school as well as elementary school to just have one place to register. Exactly. And all the, the staff there is vetted, so the school district knows who's coming in. Right, yeah. right, okay. And what about yourself, Michelle? Where can we get a hold of you? Same, um, empowerlives.com, uh, and same with our uh, Do What You Love. We're also partnered with them, too, as well. Okay. So mm -hmm. um, they can get into that connection because we now have our fall stuff come up. So it's gonna. It's most of our programs are almost all filled up. That's amazing. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> but in some areas, some schools not. We had a big shuffle in principals in the district, so mm -hmm. there's been a lot of um, changes. So we're all having to, you know, do what we do in order for that to kind of come together. And it's been it's been really good. So. Well, I appreciate both of you guys coming in. Thank you so much for Thanks sharing so much. more about uh, more sports. And any any last comments before we. Uh, well, if you're looking for spring break, camps, yes, we're starting we'll be teaming up. Yes. <laughs> Can you believe it? Spring break yes, already. I we know. Haven't gotten to Christmas yet. I know. I know. Crazy. And that's that's one of the good things about us. We've always got room, like last minute families that yeah. that really need it, mm. and yeah. wouldn't have signed up before Christmas. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. true. Not everyone's so organized. Yeah, yeah, you know, planning now for that is looking at our locations and the things where we're going to be. Yes. When, yeah, when it's they, more you guys doing your planning. All that kind of stuff. Before you it out there for, for mm -hmm. spring, right? So if you're looking for some programs for your children for next year in the spring, uh, moresports.org is where you want to go. And also check out uh, Michelle Tremblay at Empower Lives. Dot com. Dot com, EmpowerLives.com. I'm Kathy Chenna. Thanks so much for watching today. Tri-Cities Community TV.